I used to suffer from victimhood mentality for a very, very long time. And sometimes you don't realize that that is one of your issues. Um, when I was a teenager, my parents... My parents pretty much left to Mexico. I was like 15, 16. And they left me under the care of my sisters, um, which were older than me, but can't say they were actually more mature because they were dealing with their own baby daddy drama BS. You know, like sometimes... Uh, sadly, none of us really knew how to make the best decisions. So they left and I I started doing bad shit. I'm not going to say that I hadn't been doing bad shit before, but it, it just got worse. Why? Because there wasn't any parental guidance. And, um, you know, eventually all that messing around... I I got pregnant. I got pregnant at 17 and I dropped out of school. I dropped out of school in order to be a mom, you know? And for so many years, I felt like because of them, because of them leaving, I wasn't where I wanted to be. Like, it was their fault. In my head, it was their fault because of everything that they had done. Because they hadn't raised me right. Because they had never spoken to me. They had never actually... It, it, to me, it felt like they had never really tried to be a parent. Um, I'm sure they did their best. But to me at that time, because I was so busy being angry. I was so... <laughs> I was so freaking angry at the world. Uh, you just have no idea the things that I was capable of. Simply because I was holding on to this anger inside me. I became so aggressive. Like to the point where I, I would go to girls houses and call them out. Just so I could beat them up. <laughs> like it was stupid. Um. I would be like stealing shit. I I really didn't care. I didn't care about anyone. Uh, everything it was either my way or it was the highway. And I would everything that went wrong, it was never my fault. It was always someone else's fault. And I got really tired of that. Eventually, I I grew really tired of it because it it was it was consuming me. It was really consuming me to hold on to so much anger inside of me. And it didn't help that, you know, my family has been so dysfunctional. Like, there's literally nothing in common. We have nothing in common. We don't talk. Our dialogue is very, like, dumb, retarded. You know, it's never about how how are you doing are you okay type of thing it's always bullshit like talking about people here talking about people there it's fucking toxic and eventually like i said i i got tired of it and i started that's where my personal development started where i i just wanted to be a better person i didn't want to have so much anger so much resentment inside of myself and that's when i actually started um reading books and you know about psychology and things like that and i am honestly so so happy that i made that decision because it was the one thing that simply made me understand that it's no one's fault but mine where it is that I am or the things that I do of course there are people out there who who will hurt you physically but mentally 
some of these people damage you because they were damaged or well, they just didn't know any better they couldn't figure out a better way of resolving issues and it 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 really opened my eyes as far as seeing that what had been done to me if i hadn't fixed it it would eventually hurt my own children let me sorry i get a little emotional when i talk about these things now as i'm older instead of feeling that resentment that i felt i changed it to something something uh, i can't think of a word to say it but something obviously that doesn't hurt me and doesn't hurt them i changed it my mindset to feel i actually began to feel sorry for my own parents because maybe they didn't have the proper parenting maybe they just they weren't educated enough maybe you know they struggle with their own uh, issues they they lacked so many resources and instead of being upset i just you know I, I just want to hug him. I just want to hug him because I feel like if this is what I went through, I can only imagine what they went through. And I have no freaking right to judge other people from where I'm standing if I am not planning to be better than them. Like... And, and I say this because I see it. I see it in my own family. The, the, honestly, the spirit of judgment is serious. Is very serious in our family. We judge and judge and judge. But sadly, none of us are a better example. So why is it that we feel like we need to judge? When we can't even do better than them. So this video is just to pretty much bring light to to this this state of mind where where you you just feel like you're the victim of your own story and you're not you're in control and you need to to realize that you're in control you're in control of how you feel yes people can tell you things people can do things but at the end of the day, it's up to you how you want to feel about them and how you want to go about them and how you're going to continue through that. Um, we, we need to take responsibility. We want to hold other people accountable, but we can't even make ourselves accountable. So it's time for a change. And if people actually want to feel better, live better, I think it starts from the inside. And... Um, that's pretty much just something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and I hope it brings a little reflection to see within yourself if that's something that you suffer from. Because I think it's a big issue with people out there. I don't think I'm the only one that has ever felt that way. And, and eventually it needs to stop. It needs to stop or else it's probably going to be the one thing that can kill us. I hope you guys enjoy this, this tiny, this short video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.